uh, first pad practice. Some good, some bad. Some guys did some good things. Uh, got to get a lot better, a lot better execution, a lot better. It's different learning how to get off a block now that you got pads on. That's why I'm, I'm glad you got those first two days out of the way. You can start to see guys use tech. It's hard to use your techniques and stuff up there and in the, in the front seven guys like that. But, you know, some good things and bad things on the day. We've got a lot of, we got a lot of work to do and a lot of room to get better. Questions? We didn't see you Thursday. Were you happy with how the team has responded? Nah, I mean, they're getting there. I mean, and then it's – I'm going to call it out day by day. It ain't, it ain't coach talk. It ain't, it ain't ploys. It's, I'm going to call it the way it is is the way it is. You got to do it every day. And uh, first day was bad. Second day was much better. Today was okay. Drifted at the end. I think the heat and the pads got to them a little bit. And we got to learn the condition stands. Fourth quarter is good. But you got to learn to play in pads. Running in pads is a whole different deal. You got to learn to do it. I know the, the standard never changes. But because you have so much coming back, are there things this spring that – they're not going to be able to get away with it maybe last year during development. No, they didn't get away with it. Tried not to let them get away with it. But you got to have a higher standard as far as you shouldn't be making the same mistakes you made last year or the same, you know. And I'm going to tell you, you can say it's coaching. At the end of the day, player got to make up. He wants his mind. He wants to do it. You know, coach, you can only coach guys that want to be coached. Now, I'm not saying they don't want to be coached, but when you have players make continual mistakes, which some do, some don't. I mean, I'm not, you just got to, you got to be some want to in there. There's got to be a get it done attitude. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you got to have an urgency to do it. And the only way to do that is competition. If you don't, it's because you're coming back. Don't mean you're gonna play. How are some of your defensive backs doing with Jalen not there anymore? Oh, they're doing fine. I mean, they're. I mean, you, you never replace a Jalen as far as that goes. But they, that, but as far as the demeanor and, and tempo of the guys and their work has been fine. Is Tavares, oh, Mario is Tavares thicker up top. Than he's yeah. probably put on some weight. I mean, they all do after a year of being here. I mean, probably a little bit. Yes. Would you? Are you guys gonna do some both boundaries? Yeah, you can, but it's hard to do it. You have to learn to do both because of no huddle situations. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn, and you got to learn that we teach you one way, but you got to learn to do both. Is there a big difference after guys like Marquez and Derwin play a full season when it's coming back for another spring? Sometimes, sometimes not. That's up to them. Depends on if they want to be complacent or they want to get better. I mean, remember why you're continuing here to get better. Some, that's what I'm talking about. Just because you started and you played doesn't mean you're going to play again. You know, it all depends on your attitude. Has Marquez taken the next step? He's been okay. He's getting there. Have, uh, I know it's only a couple of days, but have Tavares or uh, Marcus Lewis that anybody like? No, they're all. I mean, they're all getting better, taking reps. I mean, we're just you know, it's too early to tell. Just have their good moments and bad moments. Are those guys in the Darby, PJ Williams kind of category? Oh, I don't know that. I mean, no, they're not in New Orleans and Buffalo. They're here. I don't, guys. It's unfair to compare guys. I'll never compare guys. That's one guy, and it's not. And then, and then all of a sudden you got an expectation. You got well, he can be like that. Then, then you put an expectation. It, it, it doesn't work that way. They got to be themselves and play like they can play. I don't like to do that. What does it take now just to develop that fourth quarter one two where you guys are really putting away teams and finishing teams off? Practice. You got to get in a position to be ahead first. You got to practice the first three quarters. Back to the fourth quarter. You got to play the first three quarters good. And uh, but it's, it's all attitude, practice, and habit. It all becomes what it all becomes your habits. What you do daily. We can all say what we're going to do. We can all do this. But what people really are in any walk of life is what you do daily. Your habit, what you do every day, is your habits is who you really are. <laughs> Before the pads came out, everybody seemed real impressed with Josh Brown. He's still Moving around, yeah. With, I mean, for those, all those young guys that are in there and practice, those first uh, six guys that get you know, generics can't practice. But I mean, I, I've been pleased with those guys. They're, they're, I mean, they're have ups and downs, but I mean, they've got, they fit in. You can see they have the ability. It's just a matter of knowing what to do. Is Torres a guy you're kind of cross-training? Adam Who? Torres, between like end and tackle? No, nah, he just, he's playing him. He's about 280 pounds. He's playing there at the end. He can be a three technique. So he's a three, okay. three techniques and four eyes can all be the same. Saw Pender out there today running around looking pretty good. Who? Pen Mario? Mario Pender? No, he wasn't. That was Ryan Green. Oh, with the running backs? Mm hmm He got him back there. Go Ryan Green back there. That's where he played today. For right now. Looked good, too. Looked really good. How did that change come about? Just want, you got to get the best people around and get on the field. Did uh, Pender, did you guys get the no, he, red shirt for him? Or? No, you don't, you don't know that to the end of the year. Oh, okay. you, you put in for what most likely will happen, but you don't ever, you don't officially know that until at the end of the year when they send you all the information. What's in that? I know, I know Green played both sides of the ball in high school. Did he play running back? Too? Oh, yeah, that's what he was. That's yeah. what he was. Yeah, remember that's what he oh, played that's right, first. That's right, when he came in. Yep. But he's been doing some things I just liked, and I wanted to see him over there for a day. Uh, I liked what I saw. Do the quarterbacks all getting equal reps right now? Or, mm -hmm. And then toward the end of the spring, do you plan on how they're playing? On how they're playing uh, I ain't playing. I'm planning on playing it by ear. Just, we'll just look at it and see how they how they pan out. How's DeAndre uh, been playing so far with your practice? Okay. I mean, he has ups and downs. 
Same. All of them. Been, and there's some good and bad in all of them. How much does the versatility of Nate, Derwin, and, and, um, and Trey give you, you know, to be able to play the safety? Well, hopefully it'll give you a lot of things. I mean, you know, in, to move in your package. We haven't gotten that far yet. We're still in, you know, in some early things and what we're doing. So, but it, you know, hopefully that experience and their knowledge will give you a lot of versatility. With Ryan, what does he, Ryan Green, what does he do that maybe could give him a good, a good chance to, to compliment the other guys in the backfield? Well, I mean, he's man, he's as explosive and fast as anybody on his team. I mean, he's athletic and very strong. Unfortunately, he had the red shirt last year. But just seeing what he's doing, his body's bulked up, probably 205 or six pounds. Looks really good, and he got great hands. So there's a lot of different things we can do. Do you like the idea of moving back? Mm -hmm. I did. I wouldn't have done it. No, he <laughs> like it. I mean. Yeah, he did. I would. You know, I don't ever force a guy to do it. And uh, he rhymes. I'm hungry to play. I didn't see Matthew Thomas. <coughs> he was out here. Oh, he was out later. Yeah, okay, he was sick. In the beginning. Okay. He was sick in the beginning. He had to get some stuff in him, and he came out second half practice. Sh Shamar, anything serious? No, it's a hip flexor. He got a hip flexor and Pig got a bad, Pig was the one playing his tail off. Pig was playing really well and got a bad turf toe today. And uh, Tate's got a groin. But Tate and them, that hopefully Tate and, uh, and Casher had a slightly hand. Hopefully they'll be back on Monday. That's why we held them today. But you gotta stay healthy. Is DeMarcus Christmas limited? They got a slight hamstring pull from the end of uh, fourth quarter drills. So we're, we're, we do our drills and our ends up. We're not trying to make him do long distance running right now in practice. He had he tweaked that from at the end of fourth quarter drills. Something tampering that you don't want to tear that thing. But he's practicing all the in runs and pass drills and all that. Just not the long running stuff. We'll keep him out of. It. One more. Anything? We good? All right. We're good on you. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Thanks, coach.